Hello, the practitioner here. One of the things I didn't tell you before was the fact that I used to be an Aikidoist myself. I'm an Aikido student. I was on my way to testing for my fifth Q about a couple of year, about a year or two ago. But anyway, long story short, I wasn't able to continue training due to lack of time and money. I'm planning to get back into it. But anyway, so there's been all these new zombie films coming out and Diary of the Dead coming out and all that. And one of the things that really pisses me off about it is the fact that all these people. Um, they kept getting backed into corners or getting into their cars or trying to run away from zombies. And for the first little bit when zombies are still able to run before rigor mortis sets in, this is a good idea. On the other hand, I find it kind of stupid that there are people still trying to run away from groups of zombies when, you know, or getting backed into corners, when it would be actually considerably easier, particularly if you were uh, a master at Aikido or something like that, like my, you know, like my sensei or something like that. Well, my ex-sensei now. But anyway... It seems a little bit. It seems a little bit odd that, especially after the rigor mortis is set in, that people don't necessarily just break off arms and uh, you know and rotate their way around um, zombies or you know like scoot out. You know, I mean, like it's quite easy to set a zombie. A zombie already has a lack of balance anyway, um, which is perfect for an aikidoist because as long as an aikidoist stays centered, they can use the uh, the zombie's energy, uh, you know, or the zombie's you know momentum and attack to redirect them in another area or to get themselves out of the way. I mean, it's. It seems odd that, a mo that most people would not understand this, particularly in groups of zombies. So I'm going to teach you a couple of basics as to how to get out of the way um, with um, footwork and basic miming as to how to get out of the way um, for in the event you are attacked by a group of four or more zombies. This would be this would be for people who are getting attacked by groups of eight simultaneously. Rather than just standing there with a machine gun and trying to blast everything in sight, here's how you should probably get out. Imagine that this sword is my machine gun. I am surrounded by a group of, say, eight zombies, okay? Um, let's, okay, so let's say that, you know, I, I want you to imagine me surrounded by a group of zombies. I'm going, uh, you know, I'm, I'm attacking the zombies, but simultaneously, my gun's run out of ammo. What do I do? And more zombies are encroaching in. I drop the machine gun. The best way to handle a zombie, contrary to popular opinion, rather than trying to bludgeon zombies and get your way out, is to actually get out of the way of the zombie, move off, Join, rejoin your convoy, and then get weaponry and come back for the zombies at a later time. So, again, path of least resistance is always best for the zombie. So, um, this is a hypothetical scenario. I want you to imagine this, okay? Imagine that zombies are coming at me, and they're coming at a slow pace. So we say got like a group of eight of them or more coming at me. Here's what you're going to do. Uh, I'm going to do this as soon as the person's walk through. That's my girlfriend, people. Hi, babe. She's just giving you guys the peace symbol, so I hope you enjoy. Anyway, here's what we're going to do. Imagine that I'm standing here, and that a zombie is facing me this way. I have two other zombies coming here, two from here, and another three from behind me. So I'm surrounded by at least eight people, or more. Like, let's assume I'm got a, a mob's coming at me um, uh, of zombies. Now remember, they're all, show, they're all slow, uh, slow and shambling until they get within probably the two, three feet of you, at which point they're starting to lunch. So remember, you're surrounded now, but they're starting to form a tight unit. There is a way to prevent a zombie from coming after you. As it lunges for you, here's what you do. Block off to the side, out and around. Now by taking one out and doing the Nikyo, the other eight, have, the other seven have already gone behind you. And by pinning the first one down, you can actually break off its arm or just slam its head or what have you. And hopefully if you slam, uh, if you slam it into the ground fast enough, a normal person already has difficulty taking an Aikido, blow, uh, an Aikido fall anyway. An Aikidoist would already know how to get, would, he, would already know how to take the fall. But a zombie, who chances are who is probably already off balance anyway, if you do it right, you can ram his head into the ground and kill him by smashing his nose clean through his brain. So that takes out one zombie. Then you get up and you start running and you run like crap and you run like hell and you dodge other zombies as they go. The other seven behind you are still collapsing into each other, so it'll take a while for them to get back up and turn around and come following you. Oh, sorry. Anyway, that's the basic idea of the clip. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll post more later. Toodles!